Hey everyone, we are the Gratitude Girls. The Gratitude Girls are in the house. Hello, Lori, how are you? Hi, Catherine, I'm great. I am so happy to be here. It's like, oh, take a deep breath and then like let it out because we're here. We have so many amazing things to talk about to our audience. So maybe what we'll do is let's talk about the title and then introduce ourselves. So if anybody's thinking of hopping off, hang in there. We're going to talk about a great four-letter word tonight that starts with L, and it's love, and love is in the air. So hang out with us for the next seven, eight, nine, ten minutes, and hear what we have to say. While my partner is doing the tech, I'll introduce myself. My name is Catherine Asaro Myers, affectionately known as Ra Ra's in the house. I'm broadcasting to you live tonight from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. My hometown is New York, I'm a long way from there, but this is home. And I'm with my amazing partner, Lori Delk, who I got to hug not too long ago. That felt so good. Lori, where are you tonight? Yes, I am in my home, a little bit south of Nashville, Tennessee. It was so good to hug each other. The reason why we're gonna talk about love tonight is we had an opportunity to rekindle our love by giving each other a hug. You may think, well, wait a minute, what, is, what are you talking about? Like, where, what kind of love is that? Love, period, end of subject, exclamation point, comma, dot, 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 whatever love is to you. So Lori, what, what is a good piece of advice on love? You know, I think one huge thing is just love is exactly whatever you decide to make it. So, you know, there's, love of a spouse or a partner there you know but there's love of a friendship there's love of your mom love of your siblings love of your children love of your cat and dog so there's all different kinds of love right and but it's it's just it's really it's whatever you make it yes and i'll talk about something specific and cat, it's, it's like, I didn't even think this just actually came off the top of my head. We're cat sitting right now. We used to have animals, we don't right now. But the love that we have felt from the relationship that we're building with this amazing cat who happens to be a tuxedo cat like my nails, <laughs> it's unconditional. We talk to this cat, of course, and he talks to us. So the love between, without using the English language, the love between two entities, two energetic feline, canine, human, there's something about the desire to be loved and to feel love. So for the last couple of weeks, we really rekindled what that means. We're not getting an animal, but we know what that means. And it feels really good. So if you're alone or you're feeling lonely, visit someone's pet, their fur baby, and see if that fur baby, well, animals can tell if they like you, then you'll know it feels really good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we just had Valentine's Day too, right? And a lot of people have that, you know, maybe they're in a wonderful relationship and they got spoiled on that day or they're in a wonderful relationship and money's tight so they couldn't do much or they're not in a relationship for whatever reason. And so maybe they're not happy on that day. But that's one thing that you don't have to, you know, love can be any relationship, right? So, Yes, a lot of people talk about, you know, Valentine's Day, you know, it's the chocolate and the roses, you know, from your spouse or whatever, but it doesn't have to be that. One of my girlfriends brought me a dozen roses yesterday, right? <laughs> and just out of the blue, right? And so that was sweet. And so it doesn't, it doesn't have to be, you know, your spouse or your significant other or whatever. You can love on anybody. Mm -hmm. You can go out to lunch and you know, love your waitress with a little bit extra tip that day. You know, you can love yourself even by, you know, going to get your nails done or <laughs> getting your hair done or, you know, whatever. You can, you can love on one of your children or your grandchildren or a friend's cat. 
<laughs> I'll be specific again. I love every one of those examples. You talked about chocolate and flowers. And I thought about what do I do as you do when I want to share something with someone. So if you're thinking that's a lot of, those are a lot of people. I don't have those people in my life. I send cards. I share my emotions and I send brownies. So when I want to share a little love on someone, Valentine's Day or not, I go into my app and I sometimes take a selfie or I go grab a picture from social media and I share the love. So you know what you do on social media, right? You like, you love, you comment, you love people and you let them know that you're there. So that's a way to love them. I take it the extra mile as you do because we don't know what happening tomorrow. So today, if I'm thinking about someone, I'm going to let you know. Now, if I haven't told you I loved you today, that doesn't mean I didn't think about you, but I do subscribe to if I'm feeling it right now, it really makes sense to say it in one way, shape or another. So if you're not feeling loved because someone didn't tell you, well, turn it around, be the example. Like you said, Love the person who served you your food. Love the person who gave you something or the person that just stood in front of you. Maybe you want to buy a coffee for someone behind you in line and you can share the love for two or three dollars or four dollars and randomly do it or do that and say, just let them know I got it. There are so many different ways to share love. But if we don't open that up, <clears throat> doesn't happen. You know, if you need a Kleenex, what a great brand mm -hmm. tissue. You go and you get a Kleenex. You get it. When you feel the love, what do you do? Do you have a way to express that? It's in muscle. So maybe we can talk a little bit about, well, I, we write in our journal, right? We, we write our love and our gratitude. But that's a daily habit for us. So maybe we're a little bit more tapped into that but I remember being young and doing that. So perhaps it's the way we were, we're born this way. But if you're not, I think you could give a piece of advice or information. What happens if I'm just not feeling loved and I'm all alone and I don't go to a restaurant and I don't get my nails done. I don't have a cat and nobody loves me. And that's that. And that's what I tell myself. What do we do? Well, then you can, like you talked about earlier, you can send love letters, right? So you can do it from the app that we use in our system, but you can also even simply get a piece of paper out and leave a love letter for your garbage man that comes to pick up your trash because he comes to pick up your trash every single week for you. Or your mailman, mm -hmm. leave a love letter in the mailbox because he comes and delivers you that mail, which sometimes might be a love letter from one of us. Mm. Right. Like that. I like that a lot because we can be proactive with the people that are in front of us on a daily basis, even if we don't have a love relationship with them. Show the love. So love is in the air because we show it. I don't know what you have around you. You're filled, you're surrounded by it. But I have some amazing things that remind me of love. And actually, just a few minutes ago before we went live, my husband walked in the room to kiss me goodbye because he was stepping out. And that's a great feeling. You know, you show your affection, you share the affection that you have with people. We talk about how we hugged and we saw one another and we were together in Toronto and what that did, how that rekindles the emotion. It's like topping off a hot cup of coffee and just putting it right to the brim or tea. I just didn't know what example to use. So that we could feel refreshed because it really does feel good when you know someone is there waiting for you, even if they're not there every day. Right. Absolutely. So if you are in your life and you are happy about Valentine's Day or sad or whatever, turn it around no matter what and turn it into a positive. So if you are happy, that's great. Love more people because the more you do that, the more you also turn on that, what do they call it? That vagus nerve 
right? And it spreads that dopamine all through not only your head, but the other people's head. But you, being the giver, get the most out of it, right? Because you were giving. And so spread the love around. Give the love around. We just gave you lots of ideas. You can also comment below the video of other ideas that you have or that you've done in your life and what you plan on doing in the future because it doesn't have to stop on Valentine's Day or on February 14th, right? It can go all month. It can go all year. It can go every single day of our lives. I'd love to hear some suggestions from our audience. That would be nice to hear what people do to share the love and to show the love. Maybe we could take those comments and we could bring them back and let everyone know what we heard. So if you're watching this live or you're watching the recording, send us a message so we can talk about your love and how you share that. Maybe you have something phenomenal that just happened and you want to let the world know. Yes. Comment below the video, whatever channel you're watching this on, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or TikTok or our gratitudegirls.com channel or YouTube, wherever at, comment below the video. Let us know how you are loving other people. And we will see you next week, everyone. Good night. Good afternoon. <laughs>